This is Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer at Go Engineer. For this session, we're going to show you a little bit about an easy way to put an O-ring in an O-ring groove. I've heard this request I don't know how many times over the years. It's just people have trouble doing this, and there's a good reason for that. One thing, you know, you would think that you could just take the O-ring and just add a tangent relationship here. Sorry not there you can't get there from here so I did a, a little bit of prep ahead of time here to make this thing do what I wanted to do so if I go here and look at the uh, the block by itself I made a centering axis for the o-ring well this is cylindrical and we got a whole bunch of holes here so I just found the center of this and made an axis reference geometry axis and used one line or edge if I look at the o-ring I've done something similar I've got a centering axis for the uh, uh, O-ring, O-ring centering axis, and I've got the top plane. And I've even got myself a node over here. Use the top plane to position at surface. Okay, this is a description, and then I added a note also to the right of it. Okay, so I've got it all the bases covered here. So if we go back to the assembly, and turn this stuff on here. There we go. So I've got the centering axis for the O-ring. I've got the O-ring centering axis in that part, and I've got the top plane to make it coincident with this top face. So all I have to do is pick that, hold control, and pick the other one, and make them coincident. Great. Well, then pick the plane, hold control, and pick that face, and make that coincident. Boom. Done. Turn those things off. Don't need to see those now. So that makes it pretty darn easy to see where this thing's going. If I look here at the, uh, there we go. You can see that my O-ring is right down on my groove and fits beautifully. If I wanted to, I could uh, mirror my uh, part here and make a mirror part. Might as well do that here real quick just for your fun. So if I pick this face, I can go under linear component here in my assembly and mirror this component. That face, mirror that, next. And I want to make this a mirror part, the opposite of the original. So the, this hole and this hole come out on the same side. Part in inches, so there we are. So if I look at this now, Drag this back a little bit. Whoop. You can see my O-rings in place. And my mirror part fits together perfectly. Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer at Go Engineer. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.